Hello, hello, and welcome back. We've got Dr. Ralph Beats with us again, and we are going over three of our capsule products today. We are going over Burn, we are going over Burn X, and we are going over Drive today. These are some popular products, and we're going to deep dive into what they do and why they should be taken. Okay, Dr. B, let's go ahead and start off with Bravenly Burn. This product right here namely helps with blood sugars and balancing those blood sugars. Um, obviously, that helps with cutting uh, sugar cravings. But tell us a little bit about Bravenly Burn and maybe some of the ingredients that most people might not know that, that are in there. Well, I think one of the things that I really like about this product is that it's a system. All of your ingredients work with each other. They're synergistic to each other. And if you look at the Bravely benefits, it have to look at one of the product sheets where it talks about uh, appetite suppression. It talks about supports blood sugar levels. It talks about weight management. If you think about those things as a trifecta and how they play off of each other, I think is one way I like to look at it. So it's a system in a bottle. It is a holistic approach, if you think about it that way. And we think about blood sugar levels. So what is that doing? That's controlling some of your cravings. If you control your blood sugar, if your blood sugar doesn't get too low or too high, then you're not going to get into this cravings where you want something quick. And a lot of times, unfortunately, when we want something fast, it's fast foods or it's something fast that is not that healthy. Or whole foods is what we like to use in a diet in general. And blood sugar management means that you're also controlling your appetite. So now you add appetite suppression as a second control to appetite. And now you're doubling up on being able to, again, control to be able to make good decisions for your diet. So what this is really saying is not only the general blood sugar levels of feeling better and supporting not having cravings like that, but also, again, being able to control and, and control your diet better in general. So that leads us right into weight management. Well, weight management products are great, but isn't it better if you can control your appetite, control your metabolism, control these other things up front, which are the root cause of managing and the overall managing your weight. Now you've got a lot better chance to have healthy weight. So again, going back to a very holistic approach about it before we start to name a few of these ingredients, I like the overall design and the fact that we're taking a systematic approach, a holistic approach to weight management and something if you think about that makes it much more sustainable for the future. It's not a takeaway. I'm not on a diet where, oh my goodness, I can't have this anymore. So now I immediately feel deprived. And of course, you you know what I always say about diet is got the word die in it, D I E, and nobody's a fan of that. So instead of playing the takeaway game, we take a different approach where it's an intelligent way to start to talk about managing appetite, diet, appetite suppression and blood sugar levels. So that's kind of, I think the opening holistic approach that I like to, I like about this product. And then here in a second, when you're ready, we can, we can talk about a few ingredients that I wanna highlight. Some of them that are obvious. There's a few on the label that are not obvious unless you kind of tease them out and you've got some history with them. All right, you wanna talk ingredients? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So, so let's talk about antioxidants and anti-inflammatories, all right? And I think those are really important. And I had a, a, a board certified doctor I was talking to the other day. And, and when we talk about a whole foods diet and we talk about a lot of fruit, eat the rainbow, we always say with a diet and the high levels of antioxidants in those, we know we need to supplement antioxidants. But if you think about it, how does fruit, for example, get all these antioxidants in it in the beginning? Well, it's a survival mechanism because the sun gives you all the radiation. Well, if that plant's going to survive and that fruit's going to survive, it better have antioxidants in it to keep it protected from the sun burning it up. So now, once again, you get into the really big picture about where does some of this come from in the first place and some of these good things that the plant provides for our health. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm tracking. Out. Learning okay. new stuff every day. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So uh, Banaba, uh, Banaba is a long studied compound uh, from Japan. Uh, again, the Banaba leaf, particularly uh, in managing blood sugar. Once again, we talked about if you manage blood sugar, you manage your cravings, you manage your appetite, if you will, and now better control of your diet. 
Um, bitter melon, I'm going to skip Google for a minute, but bitter melon, uh, again, has long been known for blood sugar support. And again, blood sugar equals, again, as we talked about, satiety management equals weight management uh, in a very in a very holistic, root-centered focus. Um, where we talk about the, the leaf from the Geminia, uh, suppressing sweet taste sensation. America has a sweet tooth. Certain countries have unfortunately developed a severe sweet tooth. And I have to admit, we always like our sweets, but we got to manage them and we got to manage them healthy and manage which chocolates we're into, not the one that's necessarily from on the wrapper in the impulse section of the grocery store, more like the high cacao ratio was like that. But again, managing that sweet sen sensation like that, again, so we don't crave it. And that's the key part for that particular ingredient. Uh, cayenne pepper, we all know, uh, speeds up metabolism. So you always know when you speed up your metabolism and you always know sometimes you get the sweats if you have too much of the cayenne pepper, too much capsicum. And the capsicum can really, really up the metabolism. That's great, but you don't want too much. So you've got to balance that out so you don't get too much heat, raise your metabolism too much and overload your system. It'd be like revving your car engine too fast like that, then bad things happen. So again, we want to get the bioactive components of each of these ingredients at an optimum level, not necessarily just to max them out per se. Now, Google is an interesting compound to me because Google goes back to Google lipids, which tracks back to the ancient myrrh tree. And it's actually a resin extract from the ancient myrrh. Now, if you go back to biblical times or even some of the ancient medicines, Chinese and Indian medicines, this resin, you think back of those times, what was highly valued? Frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Well, again, this has been a long time that these extracts out of frankincense or extracts out of, in this case, myrrh, Google lipids being the key thing in helping manage cholesterol levels and also help managing the fat levels like that so that you've got good support for your diet, all right? So uh, the deep dive uh, on Google this time and what it really means in terms of its contribution. Um, and of course, we always wanna manage healthy cholesterol levels. Now, chromium, uh, again, uh, we talk about uh, blood sugar support. And so having that blood sugar support so that again, you're, you're not craving. And you'll hear me just kind of reiterate that over and over again, but that, if you can manage that right up front, now you're heading off trouble before you really get started in that. So that's just a few thoughts on Brave and Lee Burn. Uh, I know people have a lot of success with it. This is one of my wife's favorites. She loves the Brave and Lee Burn. And again, summing it up to me is a very holistic product, a holistic approach in trying to manage weight, but also just manage some of your energy and give you a little bit of extra energy in the process. So, yeah, for me, I definitely notice, um, it took me a few days, maybe, maybe even a week to really start noticing a difference, what I was feeling on this one. But for me, I'm, I grew up in East Texas, my mima and my granny would make these sugar cookies that I, I've, I've made ever since I was little, cause it's just been passed down. And my husband, he calls them sweeter than sugar cookies like sweeter than sugar. They are so sweet, but they're delicious. So I was born with a sweet tooth. But for me, this Bravenly Burn, it's it's made me cut my sweet tooth. Like I do, they don't taste as good when I make them, right? And so I don't really make them anymore. They don't taste as good or I don't want it as much. But for me, it's also made me want to crave like fruits and vegetables and more and, and less sweet things, more of those natural healthier options for my body. So for me, this has been huge for my sweet tooth. So I love those explanations of kind of why that is. So, you know, something you mentioned is really important too, is as you suppress your craving for it, then you start to actually want it less without the suppression. So you almost kind of detox a little bit away from wanting those higher levels of sugar. And that's true with salt and a couple of other things like that. There's so much salt in the American diet. Is there's so much sugar the American diet, but if you watch those levels and you can step away from it just long enough to make that a habit as opposed to a craving, and all of a sudden you dial down the fact that you really want it, or when you do accidentally go taste it after you've been balanced out, let's say a lot better for a yeah. while, 
then it's like overload. It's like, yes. oh my goodness, this it's killing me. Yeah, it's like, whoa, it's really that like, is really sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly right. Exactly okay. right. So love the Brave and Lee Burn. Okay. Next up is a viral product. It's one of our newest Ooh. products. We sold $1.3 million of this in seven hours on the first launch day. That was supposed to last us, I think, three or four weeks, and we sold out in seven hours. Amazing. It is a viral product. If you've seen it online, they're the yellow pills, the little yellow pills here. And this right here, I'm going to let you talk about it for sure. But this is, it says on there, glucose support, thermogenic, healthy aging, but it supports your body's production of GLP-1. All right. So you may have heard of that. You can go Google GLP-1, but Dr. B, tell us about this product and why people are having such great results and why we sold 1.3 million in seven hours. <laughs> well, I, I think what's happened is that this is the you know, the, the high octane version, if you will, of burn. And it's a little bit different approach now than the others. Actually, their holistic approach is structured somewhat differently. And and anybody who, and I'll just say anybody who, who let's say one system for some reason, it doesn't necessarily work from the other one, the other one will. It's just a case of which one fits the best for you. But a lot of people want the higher octane. They want the results quicker. Uh, it is a different approach. And you go through the key benefits, again, that it lists the thermogenic, we're going to talk more about that, uh, the autophagy, and we'll talk a little bit about that, but breaking these major things down, you're just turning up the volume a lot and doing it a little more dramatically, a little more drastically. Um, I have had a few people that's like, wow, that's a little bit much for me. And it's like, okay, back to burn. And they love the burn. But there's a lot of people, like you say, that, that really have, have they, they want that extra kick and they're going to get it with a, with a, with a burn extreme. So some major points when we talk about benefits. So it says support renewal through autophagy. Now, what does that autophagy mean? That means you're doing a turnover of your cells. Yes. Your cells, you know, die, they go away. It's like we talked one week, last week, in fact, it was about on your skin surface, you get new skin every, whatever is it, four to six weeks like that because cells die off, they keratinize and slough off. But there's a constant replacement of cells within your body. And so that's what that term is referring to. So it's, it's cell renewal, if you think of it like that, and continuing the cell renewal process, replacing damaged cells on like that. Um, thermogenic properties, what does that mean? That means that you're increasing your metabolism. It doesn't just mean heat. Thermotypically, people think of heat. That's fine and well. When you generate more energy, you generate more heat. We're talking about going back to biochemical fundamentals about increasing uh, your metabolic cycle and your Krebs cycle such that you're just turning up your metabolic engine some to burn more, burn more fat, burn more sugar, generate more energy. That's going to generate some more heat with your body. And obviously that's going to help promote losing some weight and weight management in general. And, and again, it's a little more dramatic approach to it to really kick things in gear. Uh, we talk about a uh, healthy body composition. In plain terms, I interpret that into homeostasis. When you talk about body composition, it's fine to talk about your weight management, but it's also good to talk about how's your overall health. In homeostasis, your body is reaching norms where your body just feels better. And that includes many, many things. Your body's function, physiology, and anatomy, as well as simply talking about mass or simple uh, weight management. So that's just something to know. What's at the heart of all that? Again, stabilizing blood sugar levels. And we talked a lot about that earlier with Vern and how important managing your blood sugar is. But again, that, that's contributing. Remember your blood through your circulatory system, that's all your oxygen, it's all your nutrients. You're managing all of that. And so you're managing all of the recipients of that nutrition, which are of course your organs, tissues throughout your body. Satiety is always, again, we spent a little time earlier, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but managing sugar cravings, managing your overall satiety. Again, healthy aging and longevity. Well, everybody has to be careful of aging and longevity statements, okay? And in fact, we can't make those and, and, and shouldn't. Uh, but what we can do is say, look, here's the common sense of this. If you manage your weight, if you don't eat junk food, 
you don't use your body as a dumpster, you know, for all kinds of sugar and fast food and all kinds of other things, but you manage your weight, you manage your hydration, you manage your cravings and that. So you've got a healthy diet. Your weight is within reasonable limits. You know, if you're five foot and you weigh 400 pounds, you probably have a problem. Okay. And you're probably going to cut your longevity span short. And that's just saying Unfortunately, now the United States is the most obese country in the world. We passed Mexico a few years ago. And, really? and it's really sad. Uh, we really need to do this not only for our own health, but to encourage others. Because, you know, when you see kids that probably will not outlive their parents, you know, as far as overall lifespans, and because of the extreme obesity and, and diet issues that we have in a lot of cases, again, sugar, salt, everything else going on out there with chemicals and food, having that clean diet. Yeah, all of these things do support healthy aging and longevity. So I think as a general statement, that's very fair. And the healthier you are, the better chance you have for longevity, you know, without making any specific claims or, or uh, doing things that, that might alert or alarm some institution. So. But I think the, the looking at it that way, once again, you've got now a high powered system that's taken a holistic approach at managing your weight, managing your energy, which is just or maybe more important. And if you feel good, as you've heard me say many times, you're going to make better choices. You're going to have a better mindset to make those good choices and have a better outcome with your diet and better results like that. So we're actually supporting overall a holistic approach to our weight management, our energy management, feeling better and making better choices. And when you get results like that, of course, you're going to be pretty happy about it in many, many ways. Um, taking a look at a few interesting components. All right. Let's do that for a second. Um, the first one, the, the spermidine, uh, again, we talk about that one in the cell replacement uh, and again, it delineates about the recycle and repairing damage components of the cell like that. But of course, that's obviously going to be helpful. Uh, I'm going to come back to the EVAthin in a moment because that's a trademark. And I want to break that down in the actual component of what it really is. Because trademark names can be, you know, um, lovely marketing tools, not necessarily that functional. But this one's got some very interesting properties I want to look into. Chromium, chromium for a long, long time has been known to be great for blood glucose regulation. Yeah. Once again, here we go talking about manage the glucose, manage the cravings and everything that dominoes down the line with it. Uh, and there's a couple other components that Gemenia is in there again on, on sugar and fat, uh, the, uh, the roots of it, uh, managing metabolic cycles, the Krebs cell cycle again, uh, and one of the things I want to note on here, uh, in particular is that, um, I lost my window here. Okay. When we talk about, here's when we talk about energy, a lot of times you'll hear about mitochondria activation. So some of these components here specifically impact, you know, how good is your mitochondria working within your cells? That is the heart of generating a lot of your energy and burning sugar, fat, and other things that we like to have for the weight management. Um, let's go to the EvaFin for a minute. The EvaFin is a trademark name. What that really means is there's a compound called evodiamine. And the evodiamine is specific to reducing fat uptake. So you don't get as much of the fat uptake if you haven't been behaving on your diet. The EvaFin will help you and the evodiamine will help you. Um, again, it's plant derived from a tetra diem plant. Uh, it's been studied in Japan for, for some time now. Uh, and there's a lot of evidence around how not only does it help with the fat uptake, it helps with the fat burning. And the mechanism of that fat burning is very similar to the mechanism of uh, capsicum. We talked earlier about capsicum, uh, about uh, capsicum components. But there's a metabolic model for capsicum where this, this evodiamine is very, very similar to that same type of fat burning mechanism, fat uptake management. Now, the other thing that's interesting to me about this, not only as a weight loss component, um, as a fat management component, is that this particular uh, ingredient has implications for serotonin uptake. 
And there is some research going on right now. Uh, they're doing some documentation on it, but there is some research going on right now where they have strong belief that the serotonin uptake uh, can be influenced somewhat with having this additive in there because the product actually increases uh, serotonin transport mechanism. So it's kind of a secondary reaction to it, but by having the uh, evodiamine in there, uh, you're going to get more serotonin receptors, transport receptors. If the transport receptors are there, then potentially that's going to transport a higher level of serotonin. And of course, serotonin is the feel good. And that's a, an interesting to me, secondary piece that doesn't come out a lot of times. Because I read a little bit of the research in Japan on what they're doing, studying those serotonin transports like that, I tend to believe that they're gonna find out it's very, very real. And I think it's something that it's not mentioned on our, our cheat sheet here, our, our product information sheet. But uh, if you think about that, being able to feel good and burn fat and have a higher metabolism, that sounds pretty good. If I'm in weight management, I just want to feel better in general. So I just think that's an interesting piece like that. So once again, you've got a very complete product, uh, a product that takes a holistic approach. It takes a systems approach. And different ingredients that can can interact, I think, give people a lot of advantages to help them feel better, manage their weight, have more energy, and maybe even feel happier. I, I love it. I, I'll I'll check the box for all of those. I'll take all okay. of them. Okay. All right. You know something. I hey, was with thinking... all the kids that you and I have, we have to check boxes like well, that. Yes. Yes. And grandkids and everything else. And and if one of mine runs in here in a minute, well, you're just gonna be like, hey, she's got a lot of kids. There's a kid. We're just gonna deal with it. But um, yeah. and you're you're at your grandkids' house t today. So oh. one thing that I uh, really was interested in, and I've got some notes from, and these are uh, images that corporate sent out, is the mm. AMPK, the activated yeah. protein. Is it kinase? I don't know how yeah. to say it. Is Very it good. Yeah, kinase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. Um, but I found that this is really, really interesting. And it's basically, it's an activated protein that um, when activated, it tells your body to burn fat instead of storing it. So I think that that is really important as a component of what burn can do for your body is it activates the AMPK um, mm -hmm. to burn that fat, which I thought was interesting. And then the GLP-1 is a hormone that's found in the digestive tract, correct? I want to make sure I'm saying this correct. And mm -hmm. based on some corporate documents here i don't want to say anything wrong um but right. it it tells you it it well i'll just read it it slows down how fast your stomach empties so you feel fuller longer which is totally the truth so on this product right here you can take two to four i tried to take four one day and i was struggling to force myself to eat like i was like having to set an alarm to force mm -hmm. myself to eat because i was so full so for me i probably take around two i know some people that take four but I take round two on these um, because it does make you feel fuller. Mm -hmm. But when that happens, it also increases how much insulin your body produces, which lowers your blood sugar. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. And it sends a signal to your brain to reduce the hunger and the appetite. So that GLP-1, you may have seen that term flying around mm -hmm. a lot. You can Google it and see why it's so powerful right now. Mm -hmm. But this, this is an incredible product. But I love hearing... But it's also got that mood component to it, too. That's really fascinating. I love it. Well, it, it, when you get into things like that, GLP-1, like that, you're starting to talk about, again, the a strong influence that the GI has on hormone levels, okay, and yes. immunity. So the, the original research around ghrelin and leptin hormones, and that gets into what you're saying with the GLP-1, too, in that communication link between the GI and the brain. When do you know you're full? When do you know you had That's too much, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. And, and that goes back to, again, some of the other fundamentals that we talked about in our, our previous episode about you eat too fast, you don't give your body a chance to catch up and really let, you know, get that signal going so that, hey, you're full, stop eating so much, you know, you're, and, and hey, send some more food down here. We need some more energy. Yeah. Now I'm going to ship, uh, shift in practical terms over to um, when you talked about uh, uh, the, the AMPK. So now you're getting into what I referred earlier as the triglyceride uh, cycle and the Krebs cycle. 
So that's part of the mechanisms and the energy transfers between some of the links as you're going through the uh, tricarboxylic cycle and the Krebs cycle there with the energy component and the main energy pathway, one of the main energy pathways for your body. So. All fascinating stuff. I, yeah, I think I think, these two, I think these two products are incredible. So let me ask you a question because this is, sure. I truly don't know. If somebody wanted to take both, could you, mm -hmm. or would you just take one over the other? Well, I think to start with, I, you know, I always say start easy and gear it up as you, as you would like to. So, I mean, somebody said, I want to take both. I would say I wouldn't necessarily do that right away because I want to see how my body reacts to one or the other. Yeah. And, you know, I would, I would start with burn. I know some people have started with burn and then they ramped up and said, I'm going to try the burn extreme. And then some of them said, burn extreme is great. A lot of them stay at that level. And some of them come back and take a step back. And they said, you know, I really am better balanced out. I feel better at burn. So I think the key part for me is what works best for you. Yeah. But if you mix them right from the beginning, you're not going to know what works best. Okay. Chapter one. Chapter two. Okay. If you wanted to take both, I would say don't start with the, the recommended dose of each one. Start with half a dose of one, half a dose of the other. So instead of taking two, take one pill of burn. Instead of taking two burn X, take one pill of burn X. See how you feel, see how you do. Is that a better formula and approach for you? And if it is, okay, great. And you may want to ramp it up a little bit from there, or you may be happy with that in that you get the, the maximum benefits for you, not what we talk about, but the maximum benefits for you personally. Because I mean, one of the things I love about our community and our group that, that you and all the rest of us firmly believe in is we're trying to actually help people. Yes. We're not just selling stuff. We're actually trying to get it so it makes a difference. So that's why I'm saying is you can dial this in and everybody's a little bit different. And I know people that burn works great for them. I know people that burn X works fab for them. But it's where do you get your results? But this is the approach that I would take. And this is I've done this for years and I've done this for 20 years now on natural products where I'm saying start slow and ramp up. Because again, you want to know how you react, how you feel. That's what we're really interested in. I love it. Great advice. Great advice. Okay. Do you want to move on to drive? Yeah. You want a funny comment? We may have yep. to cut this from there. Here's, you may have to edit this. So here's your funny comment. So now that you got all this energy, what are you going to do with it? Well, here's the <laughs> Okay. Let's okay. Talk about okay. Drive. <laughs> All right, so Drive is our hormonal support. And yeah. if you missed the joke, it helps with libido, okay? It helps with libido, there's the joke. But um, All right, Dr. B, break this product down. It's for both men and women, hormonal support across the board. So share with us what makes this product so powerful. Yeah, one of the things I want to uh, address right up front is it is, as you say, for men and for women. It is a lot of, you you hear more of the testimonies from women. You're going to hear that in general for most herbal products anyhow. But the bottom line is that it, it is a great product, as it states, for simply feeling better. And I mean, if I didn't look at the ingredient sheets at all, and I just look at how I feel from taking, you know, drive on a daily basis, normal normal rate is recommended like that. I just feel better. It just helps balance out. Now, I'm, I could be a little ADD. I'll admit to that. Okay. But um, you just feel better and uh, and it's great. And for that alone, I would take it. All right. So deep dive time. So let's break it down. So first thing I list on here, uh, my order is a little bit differently than how they list. But my order is, that, again, you start right out with appetite suppression. And a lot of times, not only you get the hormonal balance, but now you, if you suppress the appetite a little bit, you manage the blood sugar, you manage the weight, now you're gonna feel better, okay? Uh, once again, we talk about banaba leaf. And banaba leaf, of course, is a key component of, again, managing that blood sugar and getting a little bit of detox. Uh, so let's pop this up here. Um, Libido, uh, hormonal levels. We get a lot of comments from people 
on managing out menstrual cycles or managing out some menopause. And, you know, that's, you can, you can be on both sides of that equation. That's a big deal. <laughs> so you really, uh, uh, really want your household calmed down. I mean, this is the important thing. And I don't know how many times I've heard about folks say though, that it's, um, and, and women say that as they've had uh, menopause and they've got into it, it really, really changes their life. I mean, not just a result, life-changing. And, you know, I mean, that's great. We got products that do that. How cool can it be? Um, you know, promoting prostate health also. That's where you get into one ingredient that's noted here and it's been long known to help prostate health with men, which is a saw palmetto. Saw palmetto has been a staple for a long, long time. So incredibly solid ingredient, great for that. And I wasn't reading my sheet or looking at my sheet, but it does go on and say sexual function and menstrual cycle. So, okay intuitive with that. Um, but balancing things out, um, again, so important. Uh, I, let's see, what else can we look at here real quick? Um, where do you go? We, that's kind of self-explanatory. I won't go into the detail on that. I don't think that needs a <laughs> scientific treatise. Uh, I think when we look at uh, testosterone boostings, one of the things we want to do there is you want to do it gently with natural components. I mean, so many times people get that confused with healthy muscle building or in a lot of uh, bulk building products, bulk muscle building products like that, too much testosterone and hopefully never steroids enter the picture. But those are things that um, I can't really say that you're improving your health when you you know get into those areas too much. So having something that does it naturally, having a formula that balances again it out Again, I always like to take the approach ramp up when you go into something like this, the better. Um, and arginine. Arginine is everywhere these days, L-arginine on, again, muscle men and blood flow. And so it's in general, um, I mean, I know Bravely she talks about blood flow or erogenous zones, but arginine is in all kinds of health products that you see everywhere on blood flow in general to all of the organs, to all the muscles to just, again, uh, help give you better health and of course great for when you're working out doing your workout routines um, and what else I think that you know I think this one's pretty straightforward I don't think we have yeah. to deep dive too much on this baby but... I think uh, I think one thing that I will note because I have gotten this question is does this have hormones in it like is it and I think very clearly we need to say no it does not it does yeah. not have hormones in it it helps balance out the testosterone and estrogen. And I have um, a friend on my team who specializes in hormones. She's a naturopathic family practitioner um, and a doctor of nursing who specializes in hormones. And she was saying that when you have balanced estro uh, estrogen and balanced testosterone, that can yes. have an impact on the progesterone in your body as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, the core, the core hormones that this helps balance are the estrogen and testosterone that then have impact on the other hormones in your body. But this is not a hormone additive. I want to be very clear with everybody. It yeah. does help balance it. And I know for me, you know, I'm getting, I'm nearing 40. I feel like my hormones are changing a little bit. Um, I've got some friends that are in their mid forties and they, you know, they're like, Tara, when my hormones are out of whack, I can't lose weight. I struggle sleeping. I tend to yeah. get that, you know, weight around the belly, you know, and, and they have all told me that this has been an impactful product for them um, heavily when it comes to their hormones, which then impacted their weight in a positive way after taking this product. For me personally, I'm just now starting this product as I just had a baby and I'm no longer exclusively um, nursing. So I personally feel comfortable taking this product now. Um, and I'm excited to see the results personally. So um, I've had some great, great feedback on drive. My husband also loves it, but that's all I'm going to say about that one. So. <laughs> I, I mean, I, yeah, it's, those, those are interesting sidebar conversations. We probably should let it go with that. But, but I, I think it's, uh, I, I think it's really great that, that it's recognized something that's very, very helpful to men. Yeah. And totally agree with those, those comments about, about the balancing and no, I, that was a good, a good catch. Thank you. That it is not a hormone injection. It is not right. steroids. It's not a hormone injection. 
This is simply supporting health. And the idea That's is right. if we're talking about real health and we're talking about long-term benefits to the person then that's, right. that's what we want to do is support healthy body homeostasis. Yeah. That's yeah, right. I mean, David, yeah. he, that's my husband. He, he says that, you know, after he took this consistently for two or three weeks, um, you know, it takes some time to balance hormones in your body. He, he yeah. began waking up with just a zeal for life. Like he was ready yeah. to go. He was happy. He had energy. He felt just more, I don't know, deal i guess you can say and so this there's a happiness component uh, uh uh a satisfactory component to this product that i'm seeing from people who take it so well dr b i love these little episodes we've got one more episode coming up but i'm so okay. thankful for your insight i learn something every time we do these these products just continue to wow me the way they are formulated the way that they work together and it just it's why we do Bravenly. So thank you so much for your time today. And uh, we'll see you next week. All right. Thanks, everyone.